hi guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i am going to be filming a project pan and for those of you who don't know a project pan is sort of like how do you explain it like all the makeup i've got well the stuff i won't say makeup because makeup i seem to go through the slowest but it's more like the stuff that I go through. So like skincare, fragrance, hair care, makeup as well. I just tend to notice with doing my project pans that I really don't go through as much makeup. Even though I buy the most makeup. Um, and I feel like doing project pans, not just filming them, but like doing them for yourself. It kind of shows you what you're really using and what you're really going through. So if you guys want to see what I got through for... I think the last project pan, I've only done one project pan this year and it was earlier in the spring. So I guess this will be like my summertime project pan, summer slash I guess a little bit of fall. It's only been fall for like a couple weeks, but if you guys want to see those items, just keep watching. Okay, so the first item I went through, I didn't even go through it. I used it one time and I just knew it's just not for me. This is the Infallible Loose Setting Powder by L'Oreal. I'm honestly not sure if I like the powder or not. This powder just, I thought it was going to be one of those powders to go like on my entire face. But I got this shade 614, which looks like a brown shade, but it was just way too dark. It just threw my makeup completely off. So I'm not going to reuse this. I will not get any use out of this. Um, so I just put it in my project pan. This shade, honestly though, for anyone who's like a few shades darker than me, I wouldn't even say like one or two shades darker I mean like four shades or darker you probably really like this powder for like your under eye this was just darker than like my foundation so me trying to put it under like my highlighted areas just really threw my makeup completely off so this item I'm just gonna go ahead and throw away because it's just not for me the next item I went through is actually one of my favorites this is my moisturizer by youth to the people and this is the deep moisture cream I don't know how to pronounce the the first word but this one is like really good for people who have sensitive or acne prone skin I definitely don't have acne prone skin and I don't even consider my skin sensitive but I just like it on my face because I feel like it really does give me like that natural hydration also the brand is clean but I'm probably not going to repurchase it just because I feel like my face even though it does like this cream for some reason I feel like the Clinique Moisture Surge is just what my face loves the most when it comes to like a facial moisture Moisturizer. I have not been able to find a facial moisturizer that I love more than that. The only reason you guys probably don't see it in my more recent skincare routines is because you guys know I get a lot of like free makeup and it's just kind of silly to like go and buy something else when I have all this other stuff I can get through. It's kind of wasteful. So I'm trying to get through those items first before I purchase, repurchase my Clinique Moisture Surge. But this is a really good option for those of you again who like clean skincare because I'm not sure if Clinique is clean. I actually don't think they are clean. I don't think so. But don't quote me on that because I feel like if I'm wrong, somebody's going to get mad at me. So don't quote me, but I really don't think Clinique is clean. But this brand is. But this brand, also this moisturizer is $58. So that is like a hefty price tag for a moisturizer, but a little bit does go a long way. I got this like, I want to say like sometime in January or even in December. And I recently ran out of it, so it's lasted me for more than half the year. So if that doesn't go to say anything, and this is the only moisturizer I've been using it. And I may mix it in with another moisturizer, but I've used this every single night and every single morning. So it, you know, it has really lasted me. The next item I went through is my MAC Fix Plus. This is just a mini size, and this is a setting spray. I use it to kind of spray my brushes when I add it on like foundation. Sometimes I would use it to spritz my brush for like eyeshadow and I definitely use it to set my face. I really don't like the spritzer, like the button to spray because I have nails and I'm sure those of you who have nails like I do probably have the same issue. So it's actually not like the application is not my favorite. I'm honestly, the next time I get my nails done, I'm actually going to get them very, very short. But for me with usually having, I typically always have long nails. This is just, this is not it for me. And honestly, I feel like this is like low key. It's not bad, but I feel like it's a little bit overhyped. Like I have certain setting sprays that I love. Like I know a clear difference when I'm not using them. And my Milani Make It Last setting spray is definitely one of those setting sprays. So this I'm probably not going to repurchase, but I do like it. But I think it's just okay. So... Yeah, I'm just not going to repurchase it. This was only a mini size anyway. And this one actually lasted me a pretty long time. I got this back in 
July of 2019 and it is what is this October of 2020 so yeah this has lasted me a really long time I also got through another setting spray which is the wet and wild photo focus natural finish I bought this one earlier this year and I'm not sure how this one I feel like this one I haven't even had that long but it's completely empty and I do know I was using this to set my face along with spritzing my brushes before like applying eyeshadow or foundation and honestly I don't really see any huge changes with this setting spray which is why I tend I used it more for like spraying my brushes down I just feel like even though this was only like three or four dollars it just wasn't worth the three or four dollars because I don't remember it doing much to my face so I'm not going to repurchase this either I'm probably not going to repurchase anything that I've already talked about but now for the items I will definitely repurchase so the first one is this Tessia I don't know how to pronounce the brand so don't come for me but it's the um, Pro Series Brush Cleanser and Conditioner and I've noticed a big difference like when I wash my makeup brushes my my brushes are not like as rough after I wash them because typically I like to wash my brushes with like a dish soap because there's like it just kills like a lot of bacteria but the dish soap is like really bad for like the hairs on the brush because it makes it so dry and this one I think because it has the conditioner in there as well like on top of the cleaning ingredients it keeps the brushes like nice and soft and they're not shedding as much and I just really really like this cleanser it did a good job cleaning out my brushes so now I just use the dish soap for my sponges and I use this for my brushes I actually got this in a boxy charm sometime either earlier this year or last year but this is really bomb like if you guys have not heard of this brush cleanser it's really good and it's cruelty free and it has like a shelf life of 24 months I haven't had it for 24 months but this was really good for cleaning off my makeup brushes and keeping them like still intact without you know shedding and just tearing up and all the wear and tear stuff so the next thing I got through is my benefit brow gel and Everything has completely rubbed off of the tube, but I love this brow gel. This one is a full size. These are $24, and if I'm, I will definitely repurchase the Benefit brows. For a minute, I thought I was an ABH brow girl, and then I thought I was a Benefit brow girl, and now I don't know who like I stand with because I really like both products. Like I love ABH and I love Benefit when it comes to my brows. So I just decided I'm just going to buy all the brow products from Benefit and ABH. And I'm not going to make a decision. I like to have options. But this brow gel is so fire. Like it keeps my makeup, not my makeup, but my brows like intact all day. My makeup does a pretty good job like staying even if I don't set it. But I would never intentionally walk out of the house without setting all of my makeup. So that goes for like my brows, my face makeup, all of that. Like I set everything down. But brow gel really just helps to keep your brows from like smearing. If you accidentally like scratch your face, which I do a lot, it'll keep it from like coming up if you do that. Like if you rub up against someone, it's really good for that. So definitely going to get the brow gel again and if you don't want to like drop $24, $25 on this one, they do have a mini size. It's like $12. You know, I'm just going to get the full size because I use it so much. It just doesn't make any sense for me not to get the full size because typically with half sizes or smaller sizes, you're kind of getting ripped off for the amount of products. So usually I just like to go ahead and just just get the full size because it just makes more sense so yeah I'm definitely gonna be getting this again for those of you who don't know earlier this year in May so like late spring early summer I guess you could say that I decided to make my own makeup line which has done really really well shout out to you guys because on my website I'm actually able to see like where my viewership is coming from like if it's coming from YouTube Facebook Instagram and I'm also able to see like who's purchasing from what like if they're purchasing from like my YouTube link or my Instagram link and most of my sales come from I would say Instagram and Facebook are pretty neck and neck but most of my majority sales come from YouTube so they're coming from you guys so Shout out to you guys for, you know, supporting me and trusting me. But I am like one of those people, I'm like the type of business person, I do not like using my own product. Like, I just feel like it's kind of silly, like using your own supply because it's for other people. But obviously, like, I have to keep one of everything to show you guys, like, how I use my stuff. So I ran out of my brow pencil, which is funny because, like, this is, like, maybe the second brow pencil I've ever gone through in, like, four years. Because I just really love my brow pencil. It's so 
good and I hate that I'm gonna have to open another one because I hate using my own product like I do not like using my own product I just feel very iffy about that but I'm gonna have to because I just feel like my brows just the application is just so much easier with this pencil it's like creamy but it's not too creamy so my brows won't look crazy and I just love my brow pencil and it's waterproof it's 10 hour wear sweat proof all of that so if you haven't tried this brow pencil you need to try my brow pencil because it's really good look at my brows I mixed my brow pencil today with the Anastasia brow pen and my brows just look they look amazing the next thing I got through is my YSL Mon Mon Perry if you know how to say it tell me in the comments because I'm not French, so I don't know how to pronounce it. But you guys, if you've seen this bottle, you know which one it is. Um, I love this fragrance. You guys know, like, I love, like, a warm floral or, like, a floral woody, musky type of fragrance. Stuff like that. If you guys saw my, like, fragrance video, which I will tag up here somewhere, you guys know, like, the type of scents that I like. So I've gone through this. I love this perfume. I feel like I like fragrances that you would probably consider, like, more, like grown and sexy I don't want any of like the sweet fresh none of that stuff like light florals like I'm just I'm not into it. I'm not here for it but I love I honestly think YSL might actually be like YSL might actually be my favorite fragrance brand and if it's not it's like neck and neck with Tom Ford like I don't know which one because I really love like all my YSL my Tom Ford fragrances are like right here so when it comes to fragrance, those are the two brands that, like, I just, those are me in a bottle. But this one is one of my favorites. But my absolute favorite from YSL, I thought it was the Black Opium, but I recently realized it's not the Black Opium. It's the Lee Perfume, which I got this for Valentine's Day, and I've used up a whole bottle. I recently purchased the Intense version, which I love. It's, it literally smells the same. It's just, like, a, a stronger version. And honestly, like... I don't love the intense version more than I love this version. I don't know which one I like better. So I'm just going to probably repurchase the same regular lead perfume. But these fragrances, like, you guys, I cannot leave the house without spraying on one of, like, my good perfumes. And, like, makeup is one of those things. Like, I don't care if it's, like, drugstore or high-end. Even though I do lean a lot more towards, like, high-end makeup. When it comes to fragrance, there is just no budget for me. Like, I only do, like high-end luxury fragrances I'm sorry because I like I like like when, when I walk past I need you to know it's me like I need my presence to be like oh my god Corey just walked past me that's that's Corey scent that way you guys know it's me it's like how people recognize me without looking at me like I just love my like strong fragrances and one thing I've always noticed with like more luxury fragrances is like they last throughout the day they're just like a lot stronger and they're not as obnoxious even though they are strong like they don't have like the that obnoxious like loud crazy you guys know what I'm talking about so yeah that is it for my project pan all this makeup that I buy and like you guys barely saw me get through any of it I really go through like a lot of skincare even though I didn't go through as much skincare I seem to go through like went through setting sprays and perfumes but I just really like you know I purchased like a lot of makeup and like it's really hard to get through even though I purchased a lot of skincare but truthfully it is because like I don't wear makeup every day despite popular opinion on here you guys think I wear makeup every day I actually don't I probably wear makeup like maybe three times a week and a lot of the times me wearing makeup is just because I have to film like had I have not been filming this video today I would not have on makeup right now so that is probably why but my skincare routine on the other hand I do my skincare routine whether I wear makeup or not twice a day so morning and before bed so I definitely use a lot more skincare than I do makeup so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful and please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I will see you all very soon in my next one bye